Hello guys, in this video I will show you the autosomal DNA predicted traits, predicted appearances of a Bronze Age Tarim mommy. It's a woman. Uh, let's get into the video. My Nashakot tool predicts her to have dark brown eyes, um, a very snub nose shape, and uh, black hair. Uh, YSEC also predicts her to have brown eyes and black hair. And in fact, Snipper Free, which I will show later, also predicts her to have black eyes and hair. Um, so all the talk about blonde, tarim mummies, that kind of goes out the window. There is no way, absolutely no way, that this individual was blonde. This is her phenotype prediction with Snipper Free. So, um, 113 million times more likely brown eyes than green or hazel, and more than a billion times more likely brown eyes than blue. Uh, literally like 2,000 times more likely black hair than brown and 285 million times more likely black hair than red and blonde is not even here. Blonde is not even, doesn't even show up. So this person, she was not blonde. Uh, this is not a blonde Tarim mummy. Uh, this person was a very dark uh, person. She had two derived alleles in EDAR, which is a very East Asian genotype. Uh, it's implicated in East Asian facial features. She likely had East Asian facial features, or at least partially East Asian, some kind of a mongoloid, maybe mongoloid uh, eyelid fold, uh, flatter face, those types of features. When it comes to her genotype in DRD2, she actually had a pretty European genotype and a lower risk of schizophrenia compared to other ethnicities outside of Europe. She was heterozygous in the warrior gene, which is also a very typical European uh, genotype. East Asians tend to be homozygous, and they tend to have GG here. She did not have the European allele for lactose persistence, and was most likely lactose intolerant. And she actually had the European allele that protects against myopia. Uh, very interesting, this allele is only present in like Europeans, and uh, it's present in Asians and Blacks at a very, very low rate, very low frequency. So it's very interesting that she had this allele. She did not have any derived alleles in OXTR, so uh, no sociopath gene, uh, which is once again interesting because uh, you would expect her to have so much East Asian ancestry, she would probably have at least one derived allele in OXTR, which East Asians tend to have, but no, uh, she does not have any derived alleles in OXTR, no sociopath gene whatsoever. She had a very high uh, genetic likelihood risk for Crohn's disease, and in fact, I think she might have had the illness. She had a modestly high genetic likelihood for coronary heart disease, type 2 diabetes, uh, schizophrenia, and uh, brain aneurysm. She had a modestly high risk of bipolar disorder, but on the good side, she had a pretty low risk of stroke. Here is her results with Eurogenes K13, and uh, this is where you begin to understand this sample and its ancestry, really, because it's a Bronze Age sample, but it's not looking like a Bronze Age Central Asian sample to me at all, because where is the North Atlantic? Where is the West Med? Where is all the Iranic components, right? So the conclusion you can draw from this is this is not an Iranic sample whatsoever. Uh, it's a very uh, hunter-gatherer, kind of Central Asian hunter-gatherer sample instead. And with the oracle, it is actually closest to MA1, which stands for Malta 1. It's an ancient North Eurasian individual from Siberia. With the two-way oracle, she can be modeled as a mixture of Malta 1 plus Marie and Chuash, but it's not, uh, it's not that reliable. Look at the distance. And this is her result with Gidrosia K3. Uh, you can see it's kind of an even, even uh, split between uh, Caucasoid or European or white kind of uh, DNA and Mongoloid or East Eurasian DNA. And here is her result with the ancient Eurasia K6. And if you didn't believe me, this was a hunter-gatherer derived individual. Uh, you have to believe me now, because look at this. Uh, she had no Natufian, 2% Natufian, that's nothing. And majority ancestral North Eurasian, some um, South Eurasian, even some East Asian. This is a hunter-gatherer derived individual. This is like a bot Botai or Central Asian hunter-gatherer person. But she's from the Bronze Age. This goes to show you that even in the Bronze Age, in Central Asia, there existed people who resembled those Mesolithic hunter-gatherers from Central Asia. This is her result with Eurogenes K36. And these are her maps of relation based on those Eurogenes K36 results in Europe and in Asia. 
I actually found G25 coordinates for this sample and out of modern ethnicities it is closest to Native Americans, Udmurts and West Siberians. Out of ancient ethnicities it is closest to other Tarim mummies but if you scroll down a little bit you see it is close to uh, Kaz uh, Kazakhstan Botai which is a hunter-gatherer from Kazakhstan. It is close to these uh, Central Asian hunter-gatherers and even Rus Tumen hunter-gatherer which is an Eastern hunter-gatherer or like a Siberian hunter-gatherer from Tumen. It is also very similar to this sample. Thank you for having <laughs> stuck around until this point. You can download the sample in 23andMe format. Uh, from the link which is in the description and in the description will also be Nashakot phenotype prediction for this uh, sample and there will also be G25 coordinates that I found for this sample. Uh, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, share and give me suggestions for other videos in the comments.